G'day, it's Brack the War Boss here, and here I am with a, another Here We Go, and I do believe it's day five of Orkmus in July, and today they're giving us trucks and vehicle news. Let's go and have a look. Keep on trucking. Orc vehicles are tougher and weirder than ever in the new codex. The new codex is nearly here and you'll be able to pre-order a special edition from tomorrow as part of the new Beast Nagers army box. Yeah, we know that. So far, we have learnt that the Orcs are louder and shootier than before. But today, we turn our attention to their new vehicles, trucks, stompers, gorkonauts, cool rigs. We have no idea how the Orcs make them work, but we do know they're about to get tougher. And the addition of Warboys and a few Trample squeaks get a bit weirder. Let's have a look under the hood. Will be all good when you go to the hood? Who knows? First up, the ramshackle rule is changing. Under the previous rules, it allowed trucks to shrug off a bit of damage every so often, as shots ricocheted off useless bits of orcs bolted to make the rig look really more killy. A handy rule in a pinch. I liked it, I loved it. I wonder how they're going to change it. Hmm, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. Now, pretty much every Orc vehicle now counts as ramshackle, which means that any shot of strength seven or less does one less damage. That's a major boost to survivability all around, and it even applies to killer cans and met guns. I'm not sure this is a good thing. Who shoots at vehicles? with um, weapons of less than strength seven. When I try and shoot weapons, I use the bigger guns and the bigger strength weapons. I, I don't try using anything less than under strength seven, unless at, at a pitch, there's you know, just firing at a chaff to wipe things up. I'm not quite sure that's a good thing. I really don't know about this, but let's have a look at the, the rule. So there's the old one, which I liked roll a D6 and on a, on a six, so there was, you know, like, there, there's a lot of randomness about it, but I just found it, it helped me. But now this is, I suppose, the new one's good, because each time an attack is allocated to the model, unless it has a strength characteristic of eight or more. So it's still situational. It depends on the strength of the weapons firing at you, and then subtract one to the damage characteristics. I suppose the question we've got to ask is, how many weapons are out there that are say seven, six, and five that have a damage characteristic uh, of more than one? Is it worth it? I suppose on the up, um, if people know you've got ramshackle, they may, on your vehicles, they may try and target something else. I think it's really gonna come down to meta and the situation of the game you're gonna play. I'm thinking it's a nerf. Or it's at least, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a step to the side. Not every vehicle counts as ramshackle, however. Okay. Stompers, Gorkonauts, and Morkonauts are obviously all too precision engineered. Don't worry, they're improving in plenty of other ways. It's now much easier to fit a mighty stomper into your force, thanks to their new power rating, which drops from a 46 to a 34, a drop of uh, 175 points so it goes down to 675 so 675 so they were 900 no one was taken with that unless they change the way it's calculated that was for everything that was for all the, the fit outs to the stopper so it's cheaper I don't know I'd have to have a look at it I don't have one so I never really considered it but this is cheap a lot, I think a lot of people are going to be liking that. Um, the cost is even more efficient way when you factor the new DACA weapons rules. Yeah, there is that. That's right, that big, uh, oh yeah, which boosts the stoppers killing power. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, big consideration. I know there are people out there that have been wanting to, to dust off their, their stoppers. That's probably uh, a good thing. Okay, Morka Norks and Gorkonauts, I've read that the wrong way around, have meanwhile bulked up, moving from 18 wounds to a much more appropriate 24. 
I like that. While their claw of gork, or possibly mork, now does a full six damage in close combat rather than d6. Yes, 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 yes. But all these improvements have pushed them up a weight category, and they've now become Lords of War instead of heavy support. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Do I not like it because it's change? People aren't using them at the moment, but they might be attracted to them. Well, I suppose that's a payoff, isn't it? If they are considerably cheaper than a stomper, then people might use this as a cheap Lord of War. I'm going to reserve judgment on that one. Let's not forget about the Speedway rule we revealed on Tuesday. I try not to. A new special ability your speed boss can use to galvanize bikers and vehicles into crazier maneuvers and, well, extra dagger. When a speed wire is called, a vehicle mounted assault weapons lose penalties for advancing and firing, and dagger weapons get an extra shot. Okay, so it's not bad. Dagger weapons, but do dagger weapons lose that penalty as well? Are they gonna be hitting on, on a six, but they get the extra shot? Is that a balance? The assault weapons losing penalty is good. I suppose it's going to come down to what's an assault weapon and what's a, what's a DACA weapon. We still don't know all the ins and outs. Yeah, well, we need, to, we need to have a look at what weapons get what before we know whether that's good or not. With their increased durability across the board, an all-vehicle orc army is looking even more exciting all of a sudden. A perfect excuse, in other words, to investigate a few of the lads' latest rides, the Kill Rig and the Hunter Rig. And there they are. I like them. I showed them to my daughter and the wife, and they said they look like pigs. Then I showed them the squeak, the, the, the squeak hogs, and they said they, yeah, they, they, they had a giggle. That was funny. Yeah, probably had to be there. We were introduced to these preposterous contraptions during last week's massive Octarius mission briefing. Preview. <laughs> Effectively, were boy pulpits bristling with heavy weaponry and able to transport a mob of ornery boys, or oh, ornery boys, ornery boys. The right of the census, they just use silly words. Makes for tongue twisters. I don't like it. Rigs are pulled by gigantic slavering trample squigs. Uh, the beast snaggers preferred runabout, even though there are clearly bits falling off all the time. The kill rig, here's a stat line. Some of this model's characters has changed as it suffers damage below. The kill rig. The first one, 12 inches. Nice. Weapon skill, 3 plus. Ballistic skill, 5 plus. Yep. Strength, 6. Mm, toughness, 8. Oh, that's good. That's nice and tough. Wounds, 16. Attack, 6. Leadership, 7. 3 up safe. I like that. I like that a lot. So... Wounds 16, so it's 9 to 16 wounds, so yeah, almost until you get to half. Well, once you get down to half, then it goes down to a 9 inch move. The strength is 5, the attacks are d6, and leadership 7 and a 3 plus. I suppose this is to rep represent that the, um, the poor uh, trample squeak is being hurt and you know so he's a bit a bit wounded so he can't move as fast and you know you have less attacks he's just he's not having a good time all other all bits are falling off you know, maybe there's a wheel falling off making it drag that's why it's not moving as well and then if you've only got four to one wounds remaining then you can move six inches which is still pretty it's not bad um weapons skill three yeah no the only real change is yeah, so no changes to the weapon skill and ballistic skill, and the strength goes down to four, uh, and the attacks is D3. So he's on his last hoofs there, so to speak, and a kill rig is equipped with a heavy lobber, a sticker cannon, a word tower, butcher boys, savage horns, savage horns and hooves, and saw blades. Oh, come on. Now you've told us what the weapons are. Tell us what the weapons do. Please, I need to know. I need to know now. Damn it. Speaking of beast snaggers, the incoming beast snagger orcs army box is so close, 
we can practically smell it. I think I need a shower. And oh boy, what a smell. Yeah, I definitely need a shower. That fantastic box is the only place for now that you can get your hands on the new code. Uh, yeah. You need not tell me that that's the only place we get the codex. I'm not happy about that. And I've told you why before in other videos. Yeah, those last two paragraphs are just sort of really dampened the blow a bit. I try and not to dampen everyone's spirits. I know, that, I know there are a lot of people out there looking forward to it and you know, get their hands on it. I, I can't, unfortunately, due to lack of finances. So I'm not quite sure how, what this is going to mean for this channel because there'll be probably no, I won't be able to give you updates. But I, I'll, no, I'll talk about that in another video. All right, so good news. I like, I like the rules of the kill rig. Would like to know a bit more about what all these weapons do, and the butcher boys, and the savage horns and hooves. I'd love to know what they that they do. So they'll probably be extra attacks. So a bit like we saw with the uh, the squeak hogs or the hog squeaks. You know what I'm talking about. Um, how they had, you know, there was three attacks for the person with the stick throwing the sticker and then there was that little attack for the little grot and there was two two attacks for the um for the chompy squid teeth uh, you know so it may be a similar sort of thing one can hope yeah there may be more there may be more attacks so that so that'll be good that'll be really good Morkinox Orkinox going up to Lords of War very mixed feelings about that I'm gonna to have to wait and see and think. I think there are a lot of people who aren't going to like it. But then again, I suppose it gives us more space to put other things in heavy. I'm not quite sure if this will make dread lists better or worse. I have to think about that. We've really got to have a look at what the, the weapons do and see what it's worth. And also the points. We need to know what the points are. If they're going up, are they going up in points? They better not. I don't, I've always thought that for what they did, they were overcosted. So I'd like to see them get this upgrade and not have much of an increase at all. But who are we kidding? They're probably going up. Uh, but yeah, look, I, I, I've had a little time to think about this. At first, yuck, I didn't like it. Um, only because I love the ramshackle rule. It's... It was my. It, it was something that I, I used a lot. There are trucks in my list. Now I'm not quite sure how effective it's going to be. Um, but then again, this may change. This is definitely going to be a meta-changing way. Your opponents are going to look at trucks differently, or look at your vehicles differently on what to use to take them down, um, so they can minimise this ramshackle. This may change the meta. This may change the meta. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Okay, guys, so what do you think of all these rule changes? Um, Ramshackle, nerf, buff, is it good? The noughts, Lords of War, is it good? What rule change do you like the most? What do you despise the most? Please tell me in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Do all the algorithmy things. And if you would like to help me out financially, uh, there's always a buy me a coffee and Patreon. The links are in the description. Okay, time to toddle off. So remember, if you go on crumping, you've got to bash early and bash often.